Last time on Astronomical, we explored what you could see with a £2,000 telescope setup. And as it turned out, you could see quite a lot of lovely deep sky wonders. This time though, we are expanding our budget by £1,000 and adding some exciting improvements. These include an autofocuser, a new cooled monochrome 585 sensor camera, and perhaps most exciting of all, a seven-piece motorized filter wheel designed for two-inch filters. Look at this, a royal flush if there ever was such a thing in astrophotography. These filters are specifically designed not only to reduce the effects of light pollution, but also dramatically increase the colors in our images. I mean, look at that for a sneak peek comparison between this setup and the last setup. The explosive difference is like night and day. So let's get stuck in and find out what you can see with a £3,000 telescope setup. I'm Damon Scotting, and this is Astronomical. So piggybacking on the structure of the last episode, I want to quickly start off by talking about the entire setup itself. So here's a swift breakdown of the total cost, and then we will move on to looking at the images. This is a total cost breakdown following on from the last episode. The only thing we are removing from the last setup is the camera. Since we are replacing the camera with an upgraded cooled monochrome variation of the immensely popular 585 sensor, it is still relatively affordable at £539. Next up, we're introducing Altair Astro's very own automatic focuser, the A. AAF for just £139, which makes it just about one of the cheapest automatic focuses on the market. And finally, we have the biggest upgrade of them all, and that is the one I am most eager to try out. The Altair Electronic Filter Wheel with seven two-inch filter slots. At £299, this is again one of the cheapest of its kind on the market. Although if we are speaking about pound for pound the best value, I think it's very obvious to note that their 5 by 2 inch filter wheel is a smarter alternative. Two less slots for £100 less is a no-brainer if you're trying to save money. But with that being said, I needed the 7 filter wheel specifically because I've gone crazy and purchased myself a full set of 2 inch filters. We have luminance, red, green, blue, as well as premium narrowband filters in hydrogen alpha, sulfur 2 and oxygen 3. Now the LRGB filters are undoubtedly going to improve the quality of our images and make the colours themselves much more excellent and vibrant, but it's the narrowband filters that isolate the most pristine wavelengths of light which allow you to take mind-blowingly professional images from your back garden. Now it's true, you can buy your filters from anywhere, so why Altair Astro? Well it boils down to three reasons. Number one, they design them themselves and have been widely noted as the original variation of the particular filters with competing brands attempting to replicate their filters and cut corners in the process to save money. They are, as you say, the OGs. These companies trying to replicate their new filters often leads to lower quality filters on the market and what the astrophotography community has come to refer to as the filter lottery. Will it be good? Will it be bad? Is anyone's guess. You'd expect us creators to be sent the most pristine lab tested filters in order to review, making it hard to trust even our own judgment. Which leads me on to reason number two, individual test reports for each filter. Bingo. Finally, a trustworthy filter brand, Ulta Astro are putting their money where their mouth is and providing empirical evidence for your very own reassurance. From speaking with those in charge, it's clear that they take a lot of pride in their work. Their customer service is second to none. Then lastly, reason three, which to many will be the most important factor, and that is money. Despite being very new to the market, these premium filters are once again amongst the very cheapest. You can even save a little bit more by getting them as a set, like I've done here. Which brings our total spend for this setup to £3,079.50. With this budget, we have achieved the absolute, complete astrophotography setup. There are only two things I can think of that you might want to still add to it just to make it absolutely perfect. Number one is a dew heater, which is very cheap. And number two is an astro-specific mini computer to handle all of the imaging and guiding for you. You know, something like the ASI Air or the Stella Vita. But in accordance with our budget, we are going to do the same as we did last time with our previous setup. And that is to just use our laptop or PC to capture our images and guide through free or included software like SharpCap or Nina. All right, it's picture time. So say cheese. Much like in the last video, I wanted to make a mosaic shot, whereas last time I chose to image the Markarian chain, this time I'm going for the Veil Nebula, so I don't have to pick or choose between just imaging the western or eastern parts of the nebula. 
And here we go, an 8K resolution mosaic shot, roughly 33 megapixels in resolution. I'm still using the setup as we speak, and over these summer months where the nights are frustratingly short, I'll be capturing even more shots with this setup, so be sure to subscribe or follow for more. In conclusion, a £3,000 budget can get you the complete astrophotography setup thanks to the help of Altair Astro. It's nice not to have to bounce between about 14 different retailers for each of the components that make up your rig. If you're interested in purchasing some of the items shown in today's video or perhaps the entire setup for yourself so that you can take some stunning deep sky images like these, then I've attached a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, I'm Damon Scotting, and this was Astronomical.